Hello. Hi. How's it going? So, let's get straight to the point. I've been doing the OMA diet for three weeks, also known as eating only one meal a day. And right now, you're looking at my past self three weeks ago trying on clothes that are mostly too tight. So buckle up and get ready for this journey. Me, me, me. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I feel like I'm probably like, I know I'm over like 200 um, pounds, um, maybe like 210 or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I need to lose weight. How, how much is that in kilograms though? I don't know. So when it comes to lunchtime, I'm mostly having tea, especially this green matcha tea, it's my favorite. But when you start doing the OMA diet for fasting, I highly suggest to not depend on tea and having a cup of soup instead. And don't worry Karen, you'll still be fasting because this is only 20 calories per cup. And as long as you're below 50 calories, your body will still be fasting. And why you need to do this is because of the quantity of, of sodium that's in it. Because when you start fasting in the first couple of weeks, um, you will lose mostly water weight. And with that goes sodium and your electrolytes. And so soup has plenty of those. And so that's why you need to drink it. Because otherwise, you might be prone to headaches, which is really not fun. And so while doing this, you definitely want to stay healthy. And so it's really important to have soup. Now I don't really rely on it anymore. I mostly just have it on the weekend. Uh, but otherwise, I just have tea. So now I'm fine. I don't ever have headaches because of the fasting. And yeah, it's great. Fucking great. So these have been my meals of the day. Portion wise, I'd say they're about like a meal and a half. Like I don't want to have like two meals at once, right? Cause that, that's a bit too much, but a meal and a half, I think it's good for me. I feel full after it. And if it's not like as big of a portion as I wanted to, I would add like usually an egg or avocados. It was something like with proteins or that's a bit more fatty so that the next day, um, I just won't feel hungry until the other time. Honestly, I'll have my tea. I might have like usually sometimes like uh, at lunchtime, like I might feel a bit hungry, but it just goes away. So, yeah, honestly, I think I've been doing really good about that and without any problems. So, let's see where it is today. So, let's put that phone there. Oh, there you go. 219. So, while you're seeing some before and after footage of me, I want to talk about a bit of my experience with um, the OMAD fasting diet. And it's been really good. Like, honestly, you know, it's been more than three weeks and I just want to keep it a habit of mine now. I don't want it to be like just a challenge or a diet. Like, I just want to do it like as long as I can. And I highly suggest anyone who's over 18 to just try it. And when I say over 18 is because um, it's kind of a common fact, I guess. And even I, who did, did like a fasting diet when I was 16, you get so hungry. I think your body's just not ready for fasting when you're that young. And even though you think like, oh, I'm almost an adult, no, your body's still growing and you cannot do that. Like you'll get really, really hungry for sure. But if you're 18, just try it. Honestly, it's really easy and you're not changing much of your um, particular habits because you're just skipping a meal, right? You can do something else in that time. It's actually really good for productivity, I think. And also just to tell you guys, I did not eat like the most healthy either. Like I definitely like, did a lot of home cooking and you know, put like, vegetables and everything. I, I didn't eat like that much crap, but I also had like a good amount of restaurants still. Like I went to Subway or I had like Chinese food, like ordered uh, pizza, you know, and stuff like that. And sometimes like if I was still hungry, depending on the dinner I had, like maybe an hour later, like I would give myself like an hour, hour and a half span. Sometimes I'll have like a little dessert, you know? So you can cheat a little and I still lost weight and I still like I can fit in my pants that did not fit before and so I think if I keep on doing it while being a bit more careful about what I do I'm sure I'm gonna get even better results and also I started like working out a bit more like not every day I started at first it started like that but it's more like four days a week maybe now but every day I go on walk or on hikes you know with the dog and I think you can do that too you know it's not that hard either so just little changes in your life, plus with the fasting, and I think you'll get good results really, really easily. Like, hey, I think you'll be impressed if you try it. Okay, now these pants are the reason why I started doing this, because I had bought them, and of course I couldn't try them on at the store, so I just like bought size 36 and hoped they would fit, 
and it didn't. And I want to wear them for Christmas. Now look at this. Ah, I was like so happy and thrilled that they fit. Like I was surprised. Because I only lost like five pounds. So I wasn't sure if it was like going to be like a big change, you know, for me to fit in them. And these pants, they would fit me, but they would be way too tight. Like they gave me heavy muffin top silhouette. But now that it's been three weeks, they feel great. Like, they just feel tight enough that I don't need to put a belt on, but it doesn't feel tight that it kind of hurts my belly or something. Like, it's just a perfect fit for me, I think. And I, I find that I look really good in them, so I'm really happy about that too.